Hi everyone, it's Nana A. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a video over a graveyard. It's not going to be our big graveyard. We're going to make a graveyard. This is more like the family graveyard that you would see uh, by people's houses. So that's what, it's going to be small, but it's going to be cute for a graveyard. And when we get other things moved around, then we can make it a a big graveyard beside it and then I even have some of the Halloween play so we'll go from the graveyard during the day to the Halloween play at night and then stay tuned to the end of the video because we have a special treat but first let's get to building the cemetery or the graveyard okay First, we're going to put down the path, and that's just going to go from our secret beach all the way to where our other beach is. And I'm doing that so I won't build right up to the edge, and there'll always be a path. And I'm doing this in kind of a speed bill. Um, I always make a double path. I like to give myself enough path. And I haven't decided. We may just leave it an in-game dirt path. You know, because it's the beach. And it's also going to be leading to a graveyard. And none of that usually has a nice path on it. And we're going to use the dark dirt path for the... Um, base of the graveyard I just think that makes it look a lot better I thought about leaving some grass and um, putting the dark dirt where I put the um, gravestones or the graves at but then I'm like mm, nah I'm just gonna put it all dark dirt and then when we make our big uh, graveyard we're going to leave some grass and we'll do a little bit more decorations but for now we're just going to put the dark dirt path down I didn't want to do this in like a really fast speed build I wanted to give us time to talk a little about it and um, this actually will be the last build before Halloween so after we build this which it does not take very long because it's such a small cemetery or graveyard we will do some of the Halloween night with Jack and um, see how that goes see if we can't get the rest of our DIYs and hopefully the um, And villagers won't pay any pranks on us. I'm sorry. If you heard that, that was my phone. I forgot to put it on silent. And I just did. So hopefully we won't hear any more of that. Okay, we got to eat some peaches. Because I want to move some trees. So we can see what we're doing. And um, when we do another build, we'll put the trees back. And we're going to have it kind of a spooky forest trail leading up to the graveyard even though it's by my house on here but it's you know down the hill and we're going to give it a spooky effect leading up and then there'll be the bigger graveyard so we'll need that spooky trail we're going to put some guardians here our skeleton friends they're going to guard the graveyard and one reason we can't go right now is because the campsite's still there. Now I went with uh, two black and then like an old looking uh, gravestone. And um, I thought I was going to do them all the color of the one in the middle. But I thought doing the two black and having the one in the middle 
would be a better color play. So that's what we're going with. Then we're going to have our grave diggers who just finished doing the one in the middle. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have the stone first. Then we're going to have our grave diggers after we put our stones here. We put them over in the corner. And there's our grave diggers. They're kind of hiding back there in the back. Okay. You know, I didn't have much room. I wanted to make it spooky, but um, didn't have much room. So there's the moss covered rocks that are going to hide our grave diggers somewhat. Not all the way, we still want to see them. And um, we also have our standing pumpkins. So that looks good. Like I said, a small graveyard. Put a moss ball. And then we're going to put a um, skeleton head radio, skull radio, so we can keep some creepy music going. And I wanted to use spooky trees because I just love them. So I decided to put them outside of the graveyard in the back. So you'll have the spooky trees when you're going from the secret beach to the other beach. And uh, we're going to do our secret beach up kind of spooky too. So maybe left over from the pirate days. I haven't figured that out yet. I think that looks good. Just a... Uh, we have our sign. I did not make that sign, so it will go in the um, details below. But I, I thought it was really cute. Or spooky, I should say. Not cute. Then we have some flowers that we're going to put down. Some go orange and black. And it's almost through. Like I said, it's going to be a small one. Uh, mm, nah, I didn't like the cockroach. You couldn't really see it. So, and it would have stopped you from walking to the left. So. I'm trying to get my flowers where I want them. There we go. There's the centipede. Then we have our spooky tower. You know, I like to put those up. We have our lantern on the lantern set. And we have all of our stones and our graves. And So this is our family cemetery. Not our big graveyard we're going to build. But the small cemetery one. The family one. So, if you like the small cemetery or graveyard and, and uh, like the spooky effect, hit that like button and let me know. We'll do some more builds like this. Okay, you hear our spooky music. Now let's go for Halloween fun. Okay, here we are. And there's our Jack music for Halloween. We're all dressed up like a witch. And we're going to go have some fun with the villagers. Hand out some candy. Maybe there'll be some pranks that happen. You never know with these guys. But we're going to go find Jack and give him some candy. Try to get the rest of our DIYs and and maybe a few furniture pieces or a jack costume, something like that. There he is. Trick or treat.
<laughs> I am Jack, the rating czar of Halloween. Yeah, we know, Jack. You are spooky. This is a night for frights and delights, which comes but once a year. That's right. Halloween is here. He is such a rhyming pumpkin head. Ah, what a thrill it's been to see this day draw near. The anticipation gave me goosebumps, pumpkin. Me too, Jack. Now the hour has come, and it's an accomplice I seek. Tell me, Pumpkin, do you think you fit the bill? Sure I do, Jack. Look at how I'm dressed. Absolutely. <laughs> what an agreeable little minion. I reward my servants handsomely for work well done. Um, he just called me a minion and a servant. Hmm. Huh. And what work is that, you ask? Here is thy task. You must fetch for me that delectable candy. After you call me a minion, oh, oh why well, I detect you have some candy on you right now. I should hope so, for that is the haunt of Halloween. This particular reaction is made for Halloween. I learned the haunt reaction. Time to trick or treat. Okay, let's go find our villagers. Here's two unsuspecting ones right now. Agnes. Oh, Nana A. Haven't seen you in a while. Like two weeks? Whatever. Have you been? Everyone on the island missed you. And yeah, that includes me. I can admit it. Anyway, great to see you, Snuffle. I guess I haven't been talking to them. Yo, welcome to Halloween. I've been waiting all stinking year for this. Oh, hey, if someone in a costume asks you for candy, you might want to give it to them. Otherwise, you could get tricked, and well, you don't want that. Speaking of which, trick or treat! <laughs> if you don't want to get tricked, you better fork over the candy. That's kind of rude. Oh, look, Agnes again. Trick or treat! Want more candy. Let's give her a piece of candy. See what she gives us. Here you go, Agnes. Whoa, I didn't think that'd work. Thanks for the candy. And now I feel i got to make us even. Oh, well, she's giving us a spooky garland. Well, that's sweet. Halloween for life, sinful. Oh, and here's Midge. Trick or treat, can I have some candy, please? If not, I'll pat a chick on you, Twiddledee. Even though you call me Twiddledee, I'm still giving you candy. Better than Minion. Oh, hooray! Thank you, Nana A. You gave me candy, so I'll give you a spooky rug. Oh good, we hadn't got that yet. I hope tonight brings us both lots of Halloween fun. And here's Biscuit. He's so cute. Trick or treat, give me some candy. If you don't, I'm going to play a dirty trick on you. Okay, here's some candy for you. Back off. Alright, Jack. Yep, I have some candy. Oh, I'm not hiding it from... No, no, but yes, oh yes. Happy Halloween. Tis the grandest candy. He wants a lollipop. Agnes again. She wants candy all the time. Candy, or I'm going to play a trick on you. So let's give her the candy. Oh, Kabuki, finally. Let's give him some candy. He's so cute. I don't think he dressed up, though. He just looks like him with horns on. But he's giving us a lollipop that we can give to Jack. Yay, Kabuki. Alright, the Halloween business is quite a time. Me, you. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's Cookie. She's so cute. She's not scary either. But she says, give me candy or face the consequences. So we better give her some candy. She seems serious. And Jack just walking by. Are you getting my candy? Get my lollipops? I know you are. You're welcome, Cookie. Oh, yay. She gave us a recipe. Okay, we're back to Jack here. He always thinks he, I'm trying to hide it from him. He said I was his minion and to go get candy. Okay, here you go. Let's give him a lollipop, make him happy. No, no, but yes. Oh, yes. 
Happy Halloween! Here's the grandest candy, my very utmost favorite, a lollipop pumpkin. Well, and he eats it right away. So good, it sends chills down my spine. Now we get a reward. Oh, look at Stitches. He's so cute. And he wants candy or he's going to play a dirty trick. These are all such good Halloween villagers. He's going to save it for later. Oh, he gives a recipe for the spooky fence. We're just grabbing up all of these, aren't we? Okay, here comes Jack again. Don't make eye contact. Yeah, let's, let's just look at recipes. No eye contact. Oh, we've got quite a few of the ones tonight. Hmm. You think he's gone yet? Okay, let's go find all of this cherry. Trick or treat. She looks scary. Let's give her candy. Oh, Agnes again. Yeah, I know. A fork over the candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay, let's see who else we can find. Oh, there's Jack. Hey dude, I got some more candy. Yep, scrumptious candy. Not hiding it, Jack. Okay, I'll give you candy. Here you go. Candy or lollipop? Let's give you lollipop. Uh, let's go see who's in the shop area. It's Cookie. Let's see what happens when we don't give them candy. Trick or treat, time to hand over the candy or face the consequences. That's what happens. They turn your face purple or blue, whatever that is, with cute little pumpkin cheeks that you can um, take off at any mirror. And we're with stitches again. He's going to forget his candy, he said. Oh, he's giving me a lollipop. Okay. I think that's enough of giving out candy for tonight. I got all the DIYs and some treats, so we're good. I did want to tell you this will be the last build or video I do for Emerly Bay for a little bit. Because we're going to work with the uh, 2.0 update. And um, make sure that we get to play that. And when I say that you know you never know what happens and we'll have to see but for now this is the the last build and spooky scene we're going to do because we're waiting for the 2.0 to come out and that's going to be so neat so if you liked the graveyard build if you liked running around giving candies and even getting pranked hit that like button and let me know oh Oh, look, and here we are. This is our new island, and it's Plum Grove. This is going to be a small farming community. Not really small town, not really especially farm core, but maybe a mix. And this is why we will be halting the builds on Emily Bay for a little bit. We're going to be um, playing here. Right now we're getting the island ready for the 2.0 update. We got our visit villagers that we started with. Let's look at the map here. We have Mac, Sylvia, and then we have Cranston, Puddles, and Bertha. Stay tuned for a short announcement. Isabel. We have our first campsite villager. So we're going to go see who's coming to our island from the campsite. 
Okay. Oh, look, it's raining. And you can see I'm all dressed in my country clothes, my farmer clothes. And um, now we're going to take the pipe system and we're going to go see who who's in our campsite. Which it doesn't matter. We're going to take them, bring them to the island so we can move this along. But um, fingers crossed, maybe it's a good farm villager. Huh, well, whoever it is, we're going to welcome them to the island and move along with our play. It's not somebody we want. Just be a villager hunt down the road. Okay, no more prolonging. Let's go see. Oh, it's Huck. Yep, hey Huck. You're the first one. Okay, I have to just tell you while we're placing his house and going back to talk to him that the Spirits of Halloween has taken over my video. I've had scenes cut. I've had them sped up. I've had uh, seams looped or copied and prolonged. It's been the hardest video to make. I guess Halloween really happened on Emerly Bay. But we, we have his house. We have Huck coming. And so we are going to move on. I will be doing some off-camera play to get the island ready. And then we're going to see the 2.0 update on Plum Grove. I think it's going to be fun. I don't want to take all the update at one time. I want to play as we go along like we normally would. I want to find out what's going on in the 2.0 update. Do the different parts. We're still going on some villager hunts. But I just want to have fun. Slow down so we don't get burned out again. And hopefully it'll bring us all back to the game like when we first started. But I just want to play along, see all the new things, of course, with the roost, with Cap'n, the cooking. But I want to do builds and villager hunts and we'll do some let's play, some let's build, some villager hunts and have a lot of fun finding out what um, our new island is capable of. So if you like these videos and you want to see more hit that like button drop me a comment below and let me know what videos you like the best it can be either with Emily Bay or Plum Grove just let me know what you like to see and subscribe hit that subscribe button be part of the family come on in everyone's welcome and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes out and until then bye y'all